welcome back everyone so this is our latestly installed windows 11 and uh, we are testing it today so let's go through it and let's see what's new in this one as you can see that there is a very beautiful background picture on this one and uh, the icons has been changed a little bit further they have changed the uh, start menu in the middle of the page if you click on it you'll be able to see the uh, different applications which are installed or the shortcuts of the application if you'll click on it it would install it but they are just appearing as the shortcuts as you can see that you can install them and if I'll click on it it would be installed on the computer now if the first thing that you'll notice in this uh, main interface of it is that um, it has a bit a wider taskbar over here so that we can see the day as well as the time and date everything is appearing over here um, the start menu is in the middle I think uh, they have designed it for the tablets and stuff so that's why it's appearing in the middle of the page or rather right click on this one and go to taskbar settings you'll be able to see the taskbar alignment which is uh, in the center it means that once we'll activate this copy of windows we'll be able to shift this start menu button on the left hand side as it used to be there uh, before in windows uh, so that's uh, about the start menu of this one if we'll go to the start menu you can see that they have changed the icons of windows they are looking very beautiful as compared to the previous version of windows but uh, the rest of the things are pretty much the same as you can see the icons and other things are appearing over here and uh, if we'll uh, click start and we'll go to the settings of uh, windows this interface is also very much similar to windows 10 that uh, we are very much familiar with and uh, if we are uh, clicking on the uh, overall interface or personalization of the uh, overall windows you can see that we can change different backgrounds over here and even we can change the color schemes of uh, the interface of course once we'll activate it we'll be able to see that and uh, if we will uh, restore it you'll see that if we are bringing our cursor over to the uh, icon it's giving us an option that how can we arrange our um, window for example if we have different windows open this one and about the uh, Microsoft Store and if we have the file explorer open and if we want to arrange them um, or we want to stack them it's uh, giving you an option to arrange different icons uh, so that you can utilize the bigger screens uh, in a better way so that helps us in arranging the stuff on um, uh, windows itself now you can see that there are different icons appearing uh, a small icons appearing under the applications which are open so by clicking on this one um, you can know that these are the applications which are actually opened at this moment of time um, you, before if we used to right click on this one we used to get some options like uh, uh, performance uh, monitors and uh, taskbar um, settings or the uh, events viewer etc but it's not available there anymore but if we'll right click on the start menu you'll get the options over here um, which are giving us uh, almost the same interface as it used to be there in Windows 10 earlier. Another thing which I have noticed is like if you right click on it we have personalization uh, which used to be there as before nothing new in that and if you right click again display settings you can adjust the uh, display size of windows using the same window but the thing which is new is it's open in windows terminal now they have combined this one where you have different options appearing over here like windows powershell will open by default if you want to open command prompt you can directly open it so you have multiple windows open over here um, uh, where you can uh, use the commands on powershell as well as on windows and further if you click on it 
it has an option for Azure Cloud Shell as well. Uh, so if uh, you are using it with your organizational um, infrastructure which is connected to Windows Azure services, you can uh, avail the services over here. Now uh, I can also see the settings over here and uh, of course it would open through the uh, Windows interface itself and it would uh, give us different options on it. Uh, but since it's just the trial version of it, so we are trying to uh, see different options in this Windows uh, uh, 11. Uh, now, let's try to go to settings again. And uh, if we we'll check the uh, build of this uh, uh, version of Windows, you can see uh, that it's the developer version, Windows 11 Pro and uh, it's 21996.1 having a windows feature pack installed over here and that gives us an idea about the version of windows that we have installed now you can see that they have improved the way windows icons are appearing and going to the taskbar if we are maximizing it and minimizing it and restoring it um, it's uh, much better than it was ever before in Windows. Uh, very classy and uh, really looking very beautiful. And uh, let's see other options which are appearing in the start menu. As you can see that there are dots appearing over here. You can click on them in order to scroll this uh, drawer, but you can do it through the uh, mouse as well, where you can scroll the items up and down. And uh, this icon for Notepad is appearing a bit new and you can see that they have changed the icon size for Notepad as well. And uh, if we'll click on About Notepad and certainly it's a newer version of Notepad that they have provided in this version of Windows. If we'll go to the control panel, uh, the icons are almost the same, uh, the same uh, Windows 7 interface of the old control panel and uh, if you click on Windows tools you'll be able to find all these different options appearing like Windows PowerShell, uh, PowerShell ISE and even the command prompt performance monitors, computer management etc. Um, the steps recorder is there as well so these are the things uh, which were there in Windows uh, uh, before as well and in this version of Windows 11 as well they didn't update this backup and restore it's still appearing for Windows 7 uh, which is quite strange but overall performance of the Windows which uh, I have noticed so far is uh, quite promising um, I read that it's gonna be really good for gaming and stuff uh, we'll have to check for that but uh, i'm loving it so far uh, no major improvements other than the tweaks in the start menu and the icons etc uh, once we'll receive the uh, full version of uh, this windows 11 uh, we'll be able to review that as well so that's it for today for our fancy windows 11 which is leaked today uh, by Microsoft. That's it for today guys. Thank you very much.